Last November, Leonardo da Vinci's Salvatore Mundi, or Savior of the World, was bought by the Louvre Abu Dhabi for $450 million, becoming the most expensive painting ever sold. It had been missing for 300 years until it was discovered at an auction house in the United States in 2005. But exactly what happened to the Salvatore Mundi before it resurfaced is still a mystery and raises serious questions about both its provenance and authenticity. And even more questions were raised last month after the Louvre Abu Dhabi said it was postponing the painting's unveiling without saying why. Experts are worried that the painting could be damaged after Christie's removed its protective glass just before the auction. Once described as the greatest discovery of the 21st century, the mystery surrounding Salvatore Mundi continues to thicken. Not to mention the fact that the painting hasn't been seen since it was sold. Let's cross over to Los Angeles now to speak with the Director of Modern and Contemporary Art at Heritage Auctions, Leon Benramon. Thank you so much for joining us today, Leon. Now, where is the Salvatore Mundi exactly? That's the $450 million question. We don't know. Uh, that The work hasn't been seen since it was purchased. And I think many um, people in the art world who um, have some kind of a connection or involvement with the work are, are very concerned about its whereabouts. Now, there are a lot of speculations around why the painting hasn't been shown yet, or, uh, you know, they're saying, some people are saying that it, it could be damaged, or other people are saying it could be a fake. What's your take on that? Well, there's, there's definitely a possibility for damage. Um, Christie's removed the protective glass um, that was surrounding the work, but more importantly, served as um, almost like a vacuum barrier um, to make sure that the work doesn't have any kind of foreign objects or particles. Um, given its age and given how many times it's been restored, you know, even being subjected to just um, normal air quality could create an issue for the work. Uh, aside from that, I believe that uh, people are concerned that there could be additional um, scientific evidence being uh, looked at and, and having different experts evaluate its authenticity in that uh, respect and also to look at the various different uh, restorations it's had over the years. So tell me exactly how fragile this painting is. It's incredibly fragile. Most works uh, that were made in that time period are in museums. They've been looked after by historians and uh, conservationists for you know, hundreds of years. Um, and so this is a, it, it's an incredibly rare uh, opportunity to see a work that hasn't had that kind of, of care and treatment over the years and has only recently been kind of reestablished uh, as important and as a result is getting uh, a whole new set of, uh, of attention that it, it hasn't had earlier. Mm -hmm. Now, um, moving on to another speculation about uh, the Salvatore Mundi. Uh, there are art historians that are saying that it wasn't painted by Leonardo da Vinci. It was actually painted by his assistant. Only around 5 to 20 percent of it maybe was painted by da Vinci himself. What do you think about all the speculation surrounding this painting as to who painted it? I think the bottom line is we'll never know. Uh, no one ever will. Um, I think there will be differing opinions, uh, as there always are, but I think with a work of this age, it's very difficult to be able to determine with great certainty who painted um, the majority of the work. I, I think that the consensus is that regardless of who um, kind of originated the work, the work has been restored so frequently um, over the, the, the past you know couple hundred years that as a result, um, if it's Leonardo or his assistant or his studio assistant, in either scenario, it has now kind of taken on becoming an, a composition from multiple different artists who've restored it over the years. Mm -hmm. So given that um, Christie's did take off the glass that was protecting the Salvatore Mundi, do you think that they're getting a lot of backlash uh, for the possibility of it being damaged? I don't think so. Um, I, the question is what, what happened immediately after the work was sold, if the, the glass was immediately restored in the proper manner. Um, I think Christie's did a very good job marketing the work, and they did what they needed to do to market the work properly, and, and part of that was removing the glass. And I think they did that uh, in a very effective manner for people who went to the preview in New York um, or the preview in Hong Kong. 
uh, the the way that they had set up the viewing uh, had very few people looking at the work at, at one, any given moment. I think they did that as, as best as they could by uh, giving the public access to the work, but by the same token, uh, maintaining the, the best possible integrity of the work uh, while, while still allowing it to be viewed in the, in the proper manner. So what's your personal take on the controversy that's surrounding this whole situation uh, of the painting being not shown yet, uh, and so on. Well, I think the the public is going to start to demand to add, to ask questions. Right now, I think it's it's a, a group of people who are closely related to the work, either having had studied the work in, from an art historical perspective or having worked on it um, from a uh, conservation restorative perspective. But you know, fairly soon, the public at large is going to wonder where this this work is, and is going to demand to see it. You know, the the fact, fact that it was sold to a museum uh, was such kind of a um, a welcomed scenario for the art world, rather than thinking that it, it might have been bought by a private collector and may not, not be seen again. Uh, but it only serves that purpose if it's being viewed by the public. So um, if we're unable to to see it soon, I am quite sure that the the public at large is going to start to ask questions. Well, we're going to have to wait and see as to how this case unfolds. Leon, thank you so much for joining us on Showcase today and sharing that insight. Thank you for having me.